While NFL offenses often attract more attention than defenses, the value of a great defense should not be forgotten. As the old adage goes, defense wins championships. Offenses have evolved mightily over the years, so ranking the top defenses in league history is a tough task, but there are a few groups that separate themselves from the rest. Here are the five greatest defenses in NFL history. 2013 Seattle Seahawks the formula for a great defense seems to be an elite nickname and a Super Bowl ring. Well, the 2013 Seahawks D checks off both boxes there. Referred to as the Legion of Boom, the Seahawks defense is the only recent squad to grace this list. As we all know, the NFL has become much more offensively focused, with high-powered offenses constantly lighting up scoreboards. With that being said, the Seahawks only allowed 14.4 points per game in the 2013 season. The Seahawks defense ranked first in the NFL in total yards and passing yards allowed that year. They primarily relied on their secondary to make plays, and they often came through, as Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas, Brandon Browner, and Cam Chancellor combined for 28 interceptions. While they were great at forcing turnovers, they also could lay the wood with bone-crushing hits, hence the Legion of Boom nickname. Seattle went 13-3 in the regular season before going on a postseason run that would give this defense a chance to etch their names in the history books. In Super Bowl 48, they faced the league's number one offense and one of the best offenses in NFL history in the Denver Broncos. Forcing four turnovers, the Legion of Boom held Peyton Manning's Broncos to only eight points in a 48-3 blowout. 1971 Minnesota Vikings the 1971 Minnesota Vikings defense set the standard for what makes a great defense for years to come. They also had arguably one of the coolest nicknames in the history of sports, as they were called the Purple People Eaters. They were led by defensive tackle Alan Page, who won NFL MVP that season and became the first defensive player in league history to be named MVP. Page and his fellow Purple People Eaters held opposing quarterbacks to a 40.4 quarterback rating that season, one of the lowest ever. They allowed just 9.9 .9 points per game. 3.9 yards per play, and forced 45 turnovers. During the 71 campaign, they pitched three shutouts and only allowed more than 20 points on two occasions. In addition to Page, defensive end Carl Eller, safety Paul Krause, and defensive end Jim Marshall made the All-Pro team that year. The Purple People Eaters helped the Vikings to an 11-3 regular season record before falling to the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC Divisional Round. 2000 Baltimore Ravens the 2000 Ravens were about as stingy as they come in terms of giving up points or yards. Led by Hall of Famer Ray Lewis and NFL Defensive Player of the Year for that season, this defense was a nightmare for opposing teams. This Baltimore defense had plenty of talent surrounding Lewis, too. Cornerbacks Chris McAllister and Dwayne Starks combined for 10 interceptions, and Peter Boulware, Rob Burnett, and Michael McCrary combined for 24 sacks. As a team, the Ravens only allowed 10.3 points and 60.63 rushing yards per game and forced 49 turnovers that season. These low rushing totals were not the result of teams not trying to run the ball against them, as Ravens gave up an eye-popping 2.7 yards per carry over the year. That average would be low for a single game, so doing it over a 16-game season makes it even more impressive. They also had four shutouts in the regular season. Like the best defenses do, this Ravens squad took their game to a whole new level in the playoffs. After a 12-4 regular season record, the Baltimore defense carried the team to a Super Bowl title. They allowed just 23 total points in their four playoff games, and seven of those came from a kick return touchdown, so they really only allowed 16 points. In addition to surrendering points, they forced turnovers to that postseason, collecting 12 of them. On the game's biggest stage, they only gave up seven points in a 34-7 win over the New York Giants in Super Bowl 35. 1976 Pittsburgh Steelers Referred to as the Steel Curtain, this Pittsburgh defense was known for shutting down opposing offenses and preventing them from scoring. After giving up 120 points in the first five games of the season, the Steelers' defense came alive as they only allowed 28 points over the next nine contests, including five shutouts and two games where the opponent scored three points. Pittsburgh went 9-0 in this stretch after a 1-4 start to the year. People around the league referred to what Pittsburgh did with their front seven as a gimmick. Mean Joe Green 
plane would line up in a tilted stance between the center and guard rather than being head up on a guard. He would then immediately shoot the gap when the ball was snapped instead of waiting to read the individual play. By doing this, the offensive lines would have to focus on Green, and linebacker Jack Lambert would be able to rush with ease and meet the ball carrier behind the line of scrimmage. If it was a gimmick, it was certainly a successful one. The Steeler defense allowed just 9.9 .9 points per game, forced 46 turnovers, and had eight defensive players named to the Pro Bowl that year. Pittsburgh went 10-4 and in the regular season before falling to the Oakland Raiders in the AFC Championship game after being pretty riddled by injuries. 1985 Chicago Bears Known as the Monsters of the Midway, this defense was exactly that, monsters. Running an aggressive 46 defense constructed by Buddy Ryan, this Bears defense constantly pressured opposing offenses. They were a defense that prided themselves on causing havoc as they racked up 64 sacks and snagged 34 interceptions over the course of the 85 season. Ryan would just relentlessly blitz the other team and forced 54 total turnovers. Their defensive front seven is viewed as one of the best that the NFL has ever seen, including Hall of famer Richard Dent as he led the NFL in sacks that year with 17 of them. Dent was also first in the league in fumbles forced with seven. In an era when NFL offenses were obsessed with running the ball, the Bears only allowed 82.4 rushing yards per game and six total rushing touchdowns that season. The Bears gave up just 12.4 points per game that year as they went 15-1 as a team in the regular season. The Monsters of the Midway turned up the heat even more in the playoffs as they only gave up 10 total points in three games. They added 16 more sacks over those three games to their already impressive 64 sacks from the regular season as they pitched two shutouts in the divisional round and NFC title game before holding the New England Patriots to just 10 points in a commanding 46-10 victory in Super Bowl XX.